that's not a, a favorable uh, first impression of our community. Oh, you mean the West Side, oh, that boarded up houses? No, we don't. that's not what it is. That's just one layer of what, what they have it looking like. And I say they, the two proposed groups, you know, they have it looking like the bridge and the city. They have our community looking, and it's 50 50. No, 50 50. It is. And we can go all, we can go all day with that because just like I said, I had meetings at my place where we sat down years ago and we tried to resolve what we're, and all it was was a, that, oh, you started, you started, I'm, I said, time out. This, we're talking from our community. And I had people that lived in the community at the meeting there too, to make sure everybody represented around the table was there. Nothing became of it. It's been quiet ever since. And I, we need to, I need to wake up this whole city to say, listen, listen, we have a serious issue down here that we want to, to work on work on getting some resolve over the next four years. And as a community, we'll do it. As a War II community, we'll do it. Everybody involved in this community, the other candidates get involved, we'll, we'll do it together. I'm not saying, you know, the city council has to do it or the mayor has to do it. As a War II community, we'll do it because that's how we work. That's how we've always worked. So today, what I'm proposing is to do a joint funded uh, environmental assessment of the non-heritage designated properties of this area where all the boarded up houses are to show, to find the present uh, factors and the what the future impact is going to be of the health and safety issue as far as all this boarded up houses goes. We're down on Indian Road uh, where some of the houses are. Right, joint here. being the, the City of Windsor and the Ambassador Bridge Company. A joint 50-50, whatever the environmental assessment is going to come to, a 50-50 uh, funded um, um, joint environmental assessment. Our community itself that we've been working so hard to make it a better community. And with, with some of the negative, the negative uh, stigmas that are now being attached, um, environmentally, you know, I, I'm looking at uh, with these houses being boarded up, the, the, the mold, the, uh, the varmints, the, you know, the breeding. Imagine the, the breeding of, of varmints in the houses sitting there. Um, you know, the, the impact of uh, businesses not, not wanting to, new businesses not wanting to locate, um, uh, people not wanting to buy properties, housing property down here, no one wanting to, you know, uh, build properties. So, you know, a lot of that environmental impact. And I mean, that's current right now. And if this sits, uh, it's been into going into 10 years, if it continues to sit, what are those future uh, impacts are gonna, gonna be on our community? Like is, is the boarded up houses is going to start to spread. It's just gonna keep spreading because as people get frustrated having to live with it and they wanna get out and, you know, let's face it, some people will just walk away, you know, just to get out. And what's, you know, more boarded up, more boarded up, more blight, more blight, and, and it's continued, so.